Hello, I have an Asus Tough Gaming laptop which is working fine when it's on 60 hertz as you can see from the screen I don't think you can see it's a bit blurry but it says 60 hertz on the screen so what mainly happens if I plug in the let's say external monitor so I'm connecting the HDMI and I can see on the external monitor the picture is showing perfectly fine and it says 60 hertz as well but what happens if I'm gonna plug in the charger in so let's see and let's plug this one in as you can see screen went black and that's it and I do see some lines appearing somewhere here at the top so now the refresh rate changed to 144 and the screen is definitely not working on 144 hertz so what happens if I'm gonna disconnect the charger it does nothing but that if I'm gonna disconnect the HDMI lead the screen went to normal and it's again on 60 hertz so the screen is working fine on 60 hertz but it doesn't want to work on 144 so let's plug in back in the HDMI lead so I can show you this again so now we can see it's on 60 hertz and if I'm gonna plug in the charger now it changed to 144 and at that state the screen is not showing up any picture so what I'm gonna do next I'm gonna dismantle this laptop and perhaps we'll fit a new screen and see if that helps resolve this issue so before trying to replace the screen I need to disconnect the battery in order to make sure I won't make any short circuit or damage any components on the board so just need to unscrew the bottom screws make sure do not mix the screws because there are two longer here two shorter there and these are all the same so when you assemble it back make sure you won't fit these screws here because otherwise they're gonna go on the other, si other side of the palm rest which you don't want to happen okay so let's play this unit up let's open this up so what I'm using, I'm using a plastic guitar stick. Open the back over. Okay, so we're taking off the back over. And here, what we need to do, we need to disconnect the battery, as you can see the battery down here. So we need to disconnect this battery connector here. So now we know that there is no power going on the board. Next, we have to remove this bezel in order to get to the screen. So we will remove those screw coverings just upon here. And one on the other side. Off. That's it. So we're just removing two screws. One on this side. And another one on this side. Okay, so now we can start removing the bezel. So we'll start with the, one of the corners. So let's say we'll start here and just slide it away from. Screen. I need to be 
careful. We almost have to cut it through. So we have the bezel and the bezel is off. Now we have to take off the screen. As I can see, there are two strips here. Okay, let's grab this one. Just try to pull this carefully out. Look like it's quite long. Here we go. We have one off. So now this second one, we we'll just use tweezers to grab it. And let's do the same thing on the other side. second strip that's all out now let's put it on the side like this let's lay it on the LCD screen As you can see, the screen is down here. So we got a brand new screen here. Let's try to fit it and test it, but do not seal it yet. Let's plug in the LCD connector. Okay. I think that cable 
needs to go down. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna connect the battery. And we're gonna start the machine. Let's start the machine. Okay, so the system is loading up. Okay, so let's try to log in. Okay, so I skipped the video, I cut the video just because I don't want to show any personal things what's on this laptop. But let's go to the display settings and see. So now the refresh rate is working 144. I haven't changed anything. If I'm gonna plug in the charger. The screen stays in the place as it should be. So if I'm gonna disconnect the charger. It stays in the same place. Connect it back. And yes, as you can see, it stays on 143.99 Hz. That's weird why it's not 144, but I don't care about the 0.001 Hz, which is not showing up, maybe just equal, I don't know. But the screen is showing perfectly fine. It doesn't matter if the charge is plugged in or the charger is unplugged. And I did read online a lot of about having same issue when the charger is connected and the screen goes blank or not showing any picture at all with the lines or something and some of them are telling it's a software issue some of them are telling could be any other issues let's say with the graphics card but the graphics part is perfectly fine the software is fine as well because when i loaded the bios screen i did saw those lines as well in the bios so it has nothing to do with the actual software itself so this was a faulty screen replace the screen and everything's back to normal thank you for watching